Thank you, sir. Sir, can you just tell me, um, ultimately, India is passing through a phase where uh, we are thinking of becoming knowledge superpower or we are thinking of becoming one of the developed countries and still uh, most of the uh, rural areas are still in a, in a bad shape. Uh, you think that communication or all these things is, is the ultimate solution for India to progress? First of all, there is no one solution. This is an enabler. So when we connect panchayats with optical fiber, it gives you a tool to bring about generational change. It all depends on how we use that tool. I don't think we are trying to be superpower of any kind. I don't think we are trying to be a great knowledge society overnight. All we are trying to do is use new knowledge, new technology, new tools to solve our basic problems. This country has three fundamental challenges. Disparity. Disparity between rich and poor, urban rural, educated and uneducated. Demography. 550 million young, like I said earlier, below age of 25. How do you provide jobs for them? How do you give them the skills they need? What about their prosperity, their employment? I think that is a challenge. And third is development. How do you expedite the process of development with new knowledge, new training? Health worker needs to be trained. If we use old methods of training, it's going to take so much time. If we use new methods of training, we will expedite the process. How do we train our teachers? How do we train social worker? How do we train our farmers? Agricultural extension worker? I think all of these things will require new training tools. And internet, broadband gives you that ability to train people. So e-school becomes, becomes inevitable sure. in this whole process. Sure. It's not just training children. It is training agricultural worker also. also. And it will be available on internet, the training program. Say you are fixing water pump in a village. Now you need to know how to train this particular, uh, how to repair this particular Mark IV pump as an example. Where do you find the diagram of it? It may be in some booklet. You may not have the booklet. You go on internet, you find the diagram, it's there, it tells you how to fix it. Right. You even don't have to be trained. You can just go see step by step and fix it yourself perhaps. Then you want to order a part. You order the part on the internet. Okay. When it is available, it will give you an alert. So you can do all kinds of things, but you got to think differently. You need to innovate. If you are not willing to think differently, there isn't going to be any benefit. Do you think the, with, this, with all these things, ultimately India will become a knowledge superpower and in what way? I think first priority for us is to really look at the bottom of the pyramid. We have 400 million people who are below poverty line. We have 300 million people who are illiterate. I think we need to really work for inclusive growth. We need to improve quality of life in rural India. And if we can use technology, knowledge to improve that, that's a big step. In the process, whether we become knowledge society or not knowledge society, really doesn't matter. It will be nice to be a superpower, but that's not our goal. Our goal is to really reach out to the large number of poor and improve quality of life for them because that in turn is in our benefit. Because that's our workforce. These are our cousins and our relatives. You know, they are our people. We got to improve their life. We can't really go on increasing this divide. And that's why a lot of focus on inclusive growth. Bottom of the pyramid. Rural India. That's the challenge. Exactly. When, when we were learning economics, when I was in college, when, and the main thing we had to write all features, that why India is not a developed country, number one, population, number two, poverty, number three, illiteracy. Now, if you don't overcome all these three things, then your democratic dividend, like today when the educationists were saying that it will become a democratic liability. Mm -hmm. 
and we have been living in a democratic demographic liability all this time yeah so how to convert this into a, into a dividend without all the basic facilities of even elementary education child labor who doesn't go to school all such kind of that's why you need to use technology to address some of these challenges okay no what is the knowledge commission thinking about this i am asking in that no 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 knowledge commission has really focused on five fundamental issues access to knowledge yeah which include library languages translation uh, broadband connectivity and all of that education concepts related to knowledge school education college education vocational education distance learning higher education then creation of knowledge who creates knowledge how knowledge is created science and technology innovations entrepreneurship patents copyright trademarks then application of knowledge in small and medium scale industries agriculture health and traditional knowledge and finally the role of knowledge in improving governance these are the 2027 subjects knowledge commission has focused on knowledge commission can't worry about everything yeah definitely you know so if we take these areas and implement lot of the recommendations we think we will make a difference lot of these recommendations already in the government some are being implemented some are delayed the commission's job was to really put together a document on recommendations which has been done it's online you can go on the internet and learn about it now we have to implement it and that process is on uh sir uh, just one of the reasons which i was reading for a decision in america uh, besides other things was also basically the secondary sector which is manufacturing it had almost stopped and this main focus was on the tertiary sector nothing manufacturing nothing was taking place and that is also one of the main reasons now india is talking about knowledge superpower india is basically focusing on service industry and not so much on manufacturing won't it affect india cannot afford to ignore manufacturing a country of 1.2 billion people have to do everything manufacturing services you know knowledge everything india is now focused on improving manufacturing we have lost manufacturing base in many areas yes, many. but we are doing well in auto parts we are doing well in pharmaceuticals we are doing well in uh, you know several other industries but we are not doing well in electronics for example so we got to really focus on improving manufacturing and what about the primary sector especially the agriculture which is the base where where our our growth rate is 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 just okay 2% very important question in this process of it and other high tech with sex appeal i think we have lost focus on agriculture we need new technology new tools in agriculture we need to increase our agriculture productivity substantially to maybe 5% maybe 7% i don't know why should the food price be so high exactly. i don't understand hmm. but that's because we have not paid attention to agricultural technology i think as a layman as a citizen we need really better productivity better efficiency distribution logistics in the food chain this country cannot afford to have inflation in food just in the think fest itself there was a discussion on this and we 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 uh, have a statement of our union agriculture minister where he where he says that agricultural land nothing will grow now the land has to be used for some other purposes and not for agricultural purpose and here also there was there was a discussion in the think fest that basically the, the please don't touch when when they were discussing with the industrialists please don't touch the fertile land for industrial purpose but use some other land for this why industries have to go for fertile land and destroy that land agree i don't think there's a disagreement on that yeah. i'm not going to disagree on that of course we got to worry about agriculture agriculture is very important because we have to feed 1.2 billion people exactly at lowest possible cost not just feed feed at lowest possible cost and that's why more land should be available for agriculture more technology should be available for agriculture we have to focus on productivity increase we need to bring in genetically modified food at some point in time of different kinds after proper testing and evaluation 
and we got to be open to new ideas in agriculture okay we can't convert agricultural land into production everywhere but we also have to worry about production we need land for production maybe we need to go vertical for production many ways so that's why there are singurs and nandigrams taking place because this focus is just on agricultural land for for many people well, that's everybody knows that's not working yeah it's not working. so fine but according to you sir where does the priority lie the primary sector the the uh, manufacturing which is a secondary sector or the tertiary sector in so india priority lies everywhere because we are a country with lot of diversity is it 30 30 30% or no, no, no. it's not like that agricultural people has to do agriculture stuff manufacturing people have to do manufacturing stuff so not at the cost basically of manufacturing other. people should not come in and and in rural you can't take you can't take agricultural land which has let's say potential for three crops a year to do some machine tool production you got to do somewhere else or you also have to realize that you don't need 150 acres to do production you maybe you need 10 acres and go vertical so just uh, uh, while while concluding uh, a personal question but personally i am also curious the whole everybody will be curious about it 70 years of age two bypass surgeries you had cancer and still you are just you know get going and you are so enthusiastic uh, what is the secret and how how do you manage it i have no idea all i do is what i do but what okay. do i just work what is it it is just, just passion work. or or some health care what exactly i don't know i just work my life is centered around work okay that's all i do i work 6 hours a day what is your passion in your life work that's it that's all i do i don't go to movies i don't watch cricket i don't go to weddings i don't go to parties i don't go to clubs i don't do anything i just work but isn't that important no not for me okay it's not important you know i enjoy what i do and i have great time i get up in the morning and i am ready to go and i have lots of interesting okay. things to do in life the young viewers here watching you and they, they, you are one of the idols for them what would you like to tell them just focus on work as the key part of your life be work centric and not pleasure centric okay and once you become work centric then anything else will happen then you want have to look don't distinguish between job and joy oh that's nice job and joy is merged you don't have to take vacation every day is a vacation if you enjoy your work so thank you very much it was pleasure talking to you thank you yeah thanks